Hi, welcome back to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. Um, this is the other video that I, I did mention in the previous one, um, and, and it's the actual. I've taken the A axis off, fourth axis, um, and now I'm doing the. I'll just get you the. I'm just cutting the pattern out for that. Um, it does the handles. Uh, the insert for the handles and it does the base plate um, there's three um, actual cutting uh, G paths um, but they're all into one file there's no cutter change so you can you just select which obviously the um, G code or which one you want to do first okay I'll show you the program on the PC here we are at the PC, we're in uh, this fire, 9.5 and this is the actual um, program I'm not going to go into setting it up because it's um, it'd be quite lengthy but um, as you can see um, that is the base plate there's three G code 29, it says 4mm but it's, I've actually changed it back to uh, 3.175 up cut um, see what it goes like um, it's actually uh, when you can see the the that's the insert for the handle and that's the base plate now that one's done out of the one that I, I've done is done out of like um, sandwiched aluminium both sides and it's got a acrylic in the middle it's quite strong and there's two layers of it so you'd have two of these and you'd have actually two, four, six, eight of these because they're doubled up and that's the handle and the plastic inserts um, that are covered go on either side okay now obviously it's an A4 size so I can get that out and one handle and then the other A4 pattern gets um, three handles out depending what you want to do it out of if you're doing it out of aluminium plate you only um, six or eight mil aluminium plate you only need one of these and four of those, uh, two of those because it's quite strong enough um, this is just the, the way that I did it um, for cost um, you could use carbon fibre which would but it's more expensive I think they cost me to do the steering wheel around about ten pound so <laughs> you know cost effectiveness it's it's worth it uh, but you can see there and you, you select which it wants to do first um, and then we'll I've export a D, um, G code file and it's I've ticked that at the top output all visual tool past the one file it's set to GRBL millimeters which is what it is for this particular uh, and it's the same for my 3030 uh, and it all goes to one file but it, uh, whichever it's set up in on there it will do first okay so that's the actual um, file that's been loaded onto the chip and I'm using the offline control it's not connected by the PC it's been used this is what I'm saying to you we'll see what it goes like with the offline controller so we'll go to the machine now Right, here we are at the machine, the file's been loaded and don't forget when you do this and you go to, don't forget when you go to the settings on the offline controller you must make sure that that's in 3 axis mode because you're not using a 4th axis ok, go back to that prepare and I'm just going to do the touch off probe ok Here we are, that's that job done. So I can release that. Right, that's that one. So what we do now, and our job origin is there at the front bottom corner. So I'm going to bring the first thing I'm going to do is 
bring the y axis down minus. The uh, x axis, and that has to go to minus as well, as you can see. Right, I know now that that's set to uh, my job origin, so then I go on to the job start as I've shown you before. Right, so we've moved it there now. And then we go to yeah, X and Y and zero. That's it's zero now. It, Z's done. So what we can do now is go select a file, which is the G29 wheel G code. That's installed. And then all we would do now is go down to the and press play what we do now is run the program
seeing what the or what position the CNC uh, machine is at on the screen. I'd rather have it complete with yours and the liquid. There we go, job completed. Just turn it off. Right, here we are. Now, job done. I'm just going to uh, try some of these out. Some of them are loose already because there's, there's no double sided tape underneath it. Um, that's got double sided tape underneath. That's loose. That's up. That's loose. Oh, there we go. Take this one out. And see the double sided tape look. And there we go. You can see that. Just let me get you in a bit. There we go. That goes on there. And you'd have oh, it the other side. It runs faultlessly, does offline control. I really do like it. But that's um, just showing you use it as three axis mode. Um, what did that take? 15 minutes, if that. Um, I plunged, it could have probably done with another half mil deeper um, interface um, but um, it was left for the 3030 program but I would alter that but I wouldn't be cutting it in plywood um, what I use is the um, sandwiched aluminium um, acrylic which is a lot tougher, or carbon fibre um, and I'd have another three of these to do but you can see how how accurate it cuts out and that'll fit in fact just let me get it and you'll see that exactly the same size so yeah, and it'll do complicated with the offline controller. Once you get used to it, I think it's better than tethering up to PC. It leaves you free to design another program without interrupting your program running. As you can see, it's cut it rather well. There you're off cuts, and that's how I prefer to do it. Um, yeah, and and that were a. Um, the bit I use, look you can see there, it's a single spur and it's a up cut bit, I wouldn't use it on plywood, um, I'd use a clean cut, I'd use a two spur down down cut bit, um, but this is just to show you what the program does 
what the offline controller can do and how simple it is to set up you leave it running get back to your PC design something else right I'm back around now um, I hope that's shown you using the three axis um, the offline controller sorry, in the three axis mode um, it works just as it does with the um, fourth axis uh, and I think it's a brilliant bit of kit to have um, I've not had any hiccups with it you put whatever program I put in it it runs it tool changes I've, I've shown you how to do the tool changes where you get it back to zero as I did in the previous videos and that works just the same and no matter how many G-Cub or toolpath cuttings you've got it, it just works so I hope that's enlightening you to using the, the offline controller in the normal three axis mode and I'm going to get back on and uh, have another program to run and see how that goes so as I always say like and subscribe it really does help me and as I always say until next time be safe be careful and bye for now